With the latest tragedy at sea still unfolding, the looming political debate remains on the back burner, for the time being at least. Parliament sits this week and asylum seeker policy will be high on the agenda. And there's pressure on the Prime Minister and the opposition leader from their own parties to take a bipartisan approach. Karen Tan reports. For such a hot issue, the fractious asylum seeker policy debate was lacking political argument today as the parties united. Not a word of criticism of the government uh, will escape my lips today. Uh, the fact of the matter is we should today be grieving. Calls are growing for a bipartisan approach to border protection. I'm of the view and the government is of the view that we want to work together across the parliament to secure an outcome that reduces uh, the possibility of a tragedy like this being repeated. But not all have backed the one policy for all parties as the solution. It's the Greens and the opposition that's currently blocking the government's asylum plan in the Senate. The important thing is not uh, to have policies which are bipartisan. The important thing is to have policies which are effective. Uh, that's what we need here. We need effective policies uh, to stop the boat. We need to be putting our heads together, uh, not just in our parliament, but across our region. We need to be getting countries like Malaysia and Indonesia to sign up to the Refugee Convention. The government and opposition are yet to find common ground over the proposed Malaysia people swap deal versus the Nauru solution. It's not going to be easy, but humanitarian policy has never been, uh, never been easy. I mean, Julia Gillard going to have to you know, reverse her direction and stop talking about Malaysia in the same kind of way Tony Abbott's got to stop talking about you know, Nauru. Uh, we put a compromise on the table uh, in good faith. We we're prepared to have discussions across the parliament. Uh, that remains the case. Almost 300 people have died on their way to Australia in the last two years. Clearly there's a problem with the coordination between Australia and Indonesia in terms of actually safety of life at sea issues. Let's refrain from a partisan argument. Let's look at a, a humane solution that also protects Australia's borders. Today's quiet respect could be the calm before a big political storm erupts again when Parliament sits this week. Karen Tan, ABC News.